Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. This is part 10 of Brain Teasers. In this video, we shall be taking few word problems related to money. So let's start. The first question is, a purse has 2 rupee and 5 rupee coins. The sum of the coins is 36 and the total value of the coins is rupees 84. Find the number of 5 rupee coins. Now in this particular question, we have a purse which has 2 rupee coins as well as 5 rupee coins. The total sum of the coins, that means number of coins is 36. The total value of the coins in terms of money is rupees 84. We have to find the number of 5 rupee coins. How many 5 rupee coins we have? Suppose I say I have total 36 coins. Out of that, 10 are 2 rupee coins. So 36 minus 10, that is, you will say 26, I have 5 rupee coins. Right. In the same way, if I say, let the number of 2 rupee coins be x. So the number of 5 rupee coins will be 36 minus x. Right. Now value of 2 rupee coins, I will multiply the number by the denomination to get the value, right? So number of two rupee coins is X. Denomination is two because it's a two rupee coin. So total value of two rupee coins, which I'm having is two X. Now value of five rupee coins is again number multiplied by denomination, which will give me value, right? So number is 36 minus X into 5 because 5 rupee coins. 5 into 36, 180. 5 into minus X minus 5X. So 180 minus 5X is the value of 5 rupee coins, right? Now total value of the coins is given to us 84, which comprise of value of 2 rupee coins and value of 5 rupee coins equal to 84, right? Now, what is the value of 2 rupee coins? 2 rupee coins is 2x and value of 5 rupee coins is 5 into 36 minus x or you can simply write 180 minus 5x also is equal to 84. Further, we shall open the brackets. So 2x plus 180 minus 5x is equal to 84. Take the like terms together. So 2x minus 5x is minus 3x. 84 minus 180, we will, you'll get minus 96. Now, x is equal to minus 96 upon minus 3. Minus and minus will stand cancel. 96 divided by 3, you will get 32. So, value of x has come 32. And what was x? x was number of 2 rupee coins, right? But in the question, we have to find number of 5 rupee coins. So, we can say number of 5 rupee coins is 36 minus x, which is 36 minus 32 is equal to 4. So, only 4 rupees. Uh, sorry, only four coins are there of five rupees. Now we can check also. We have four coins of five rupees. So total money value, we have 20 rupees. And 32, sorry, 32 into two. That is 64 rupees we have of two rupee coins, right? 32 into two is 64. Total is 84. So 84 is the total value of coins which we are having. 20 rupees is 5 rupee coins and 64 is 2 rupee coins and total is 84 rupees, right? Now let us take up one more question. This is extra question which I have added to this video just for practice. So let's start. A bag contains coins of denomination rupees 5 and rupees 2. The total value of these coins is 1272. If the number of 2 rupee coins is 15% of the 5 rupee coins, find the number of coins of each denomination. So over here we have to find the number of coins of each denominations. That means how many number of 5 rupee coins we have and how many number of 2 rupee coins we have. Total value of these coins is rupees 1272. Further, they are saying the number of 2 rupee coins is 15% of the number of 5 rupee coins. That means 
number of 2 rupee coins is dependent on the 5 rupee coins. So we will start our solution by assuming that let the number of 5 rupee coins be x. Okay, first of all we will assume let the 5 rupee coins be x. Now number of 2 rupee coins is 15% of 5 rupee coins. That is 15% of x. Now how to solve it? So 15 divide by 100 into x. When you remove the percent sign, you divide by 100. Off means multiplication. So 15 upon 100 into x. Further, you simplify by dividing by 5. You will get 3 by 20. So 3 by 20 is the number of 2 rupee coins which you have in the bag. Number of 5 rupee coins are x. Number of 2 rupee coins are 3x by 20. Right? Now the value of 5 rupee coins will be denomination multiplied by the number which will give you the value. So denomination is 5 x is the number of 5 rupee coins so total value of 5 rupee coins we have 5x now value of 2 rupee coins is the denomination that is 2 rupees 2 rupee coins it is so 2 rupee is the denomination number is 3x by 20 further you can simplify it 2 and 20 will cancel we will get 10 so the value we have got is rupees 3x by 10 that is the value of 2 rupee coins now total value of coins is 1272 and total value consists of 5 rupee coins as well as 2 rupee coins. Total is 1272. Now 5 rupee coins the value is 5x. 2 rupee coins the value is 3x by 10. Total is 1272. Now further take LCM. 10 is the LCM, 10 into 5 is 50, 50x plus 3x upon 10 is equal to 1272, 50x plus 3x is 53x upon 10 is equal to 1272, further cross multiply, so x is equal to 1272 into 10 divided by 53 which is equal to 240, so value of x has come 240. Now what was x? x was number of 5 rupee coins, that is x is 240. And number of 2 rupee coins is 3x by 20. So 3 into 240 divided by 20, we will get 36. So number of 2 rupee coins is 36. Yes. And now further you can check also. You have to multiply 5 into 240. Right. And 2 into 36 to get the value of 5 rupee coins. To get the value of 2 rupee coins. And then check whether the total is coming 1, 2, 7, 2 or not. So this thing you will find out and write the answer in the comment section. So this is the homework for you all. You will write the answer in the comment section, right? So this is it. Hope you have understood both the questions related to coins and money. In case of any doubt, you can always ask in the comment section. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.